Hello friends, welcome to Sukuma Tutorials. After my intro, all of you waiting for uh, JAS classes. Today I am going to take georeferencing in QGIS. Shall we go? Start JAS. We have to georeference a map. The map should have latitude, longitude. Either you can download the map or scan the map and then put it in a folder and then open QGIS. So I am opening QGIS 3.16 here. It's opening. It appears like this. Double digit. Double, uh, double click QGIS desktop. Starts opening. I'm using QGIS 3.16. At present, 3.18 is available in the net. You can go to QGIS.org and download the software. Now, QGIS has opened. This is our key area canvas, and this is a layer area where layer management can be done all the maps will come on the right side now first thing you want to do georeference a map for which you have to go to the top you have got lot of commands in this you got raster click the raster underneath you got third one georeferencer you click the georeferencer a new screen comes and then you got a command on the top and you got icons on the second row. The first row is to open a raster map. So it's open raster. Click open raster. It shows the directory where you got your topographic map which I downloaded from the Survey of India site for educational map series. This is a map. I'm just clicking and opening the topo sheet. When you open the topo sheet, this is a full view, fit on view. So you move your cursor. When you move the cursor, bottom right, see you can see numbers are changing according to the movement of my cursor, the numbers are changing. These numbers are some arbitrary numbers. It doesn't so you see minus is there and some numbers are there. So normally when, it, when you georeference, it should show either meters or in latitude longitudes. And then coordinate system is none. Transform not set, it says. So now we have to georeference it. Before that, we have to go to view, use, click the panel, click the GCP table. The table comes. There is a geography coordinate points table has come at the bottom. Now, second thing, you have to go to the wheel, golden color wheel. That is transformation setting. Click it. You got a transformation setting. Details are there. The transformation type is polynomial one. You got the different things. Just you type only polynomial one. The resampling method, nearest to neighbor. There are different methods are there. You just keep nearest to neighbor. Then your target data WGS84 geography coordinate system WGS84. <coughs> then <coughs> you have to mention where your georeference map should be saved. It is output raster. <coughs> output raster is the same folder where you have collected the topographic map. Only thing it adds um, modified TIFF I'm just putting TIFF So once you do this your settings are over Click it, leave it Now you have to go to the Normally for <coughs> georeferencing you need to have 4 points These 4 points should be 
the four corners of the map that is northwest, northeast, southeast, southwest. Now I got the first point I am going to zoom it for which I have to put the plus mark that is a zoom and then I have to zoom this. See when I zoom it, it shows the latitude and latitude. The latitude is 76 degree 30 minutes. Latitude is 16 minutes 30 minutes. So now I have to add this point, coordinate point, add point, click it, and plus mark will come to bring that and then place it at the junction of latitude, longitude, meeting point, the middle, exactly in the middle. Click it, another screen comes, it asks your x value x value is 76 degrees space 30 minutes then y value is latitude degrees 16 degrees space 30 minutes so ok so the point table GCB table, the first point, point has come, the center point, the red mark has come, that means you have given the first point, zoom down, go to the second point, there is a northeastern side, zoom that particular point, corner, see how it has come, now I have to go and click the add point, the plus mark I have to bring it and then place it at the tension of latitude and longitude meeting point with it add the x value 76 space 45 minutes then add latitude 16 degrees space 30 minutes so ok now zoom down the second point is added in the table now third point I have to zoom it there is a southeast corner let's just zoom it here third point has come Go to add point, click, bring the plus mark, place it over the junction where latitude longitude meets, click it, and then you give the x value that is 76 degrees 45 minutes, space 45 minutes, then latitude 16 degrees, space 15 minutes, click OK. So that point is added, then down, that is the third point, that is southwest corner, zoom the top point, to zoom, now I have to add point, go to add point, click it, bring the plus mark, Place it at the junction where latitude longitude meets, click it, add the x value that is 76 degrees space 30 minutes. Then latitude 16 minutes space 15 minutes. 16 degrees 15 minutes. Click OK. Now in the table all the four points added the last column residual within like a pixel shows one point something normally it should come zero point some values that means exactly correct georeferency now i have given because i have not zoomed uh, properly uh, the approximately i zoom so it is coming one it should not be Double digit like a 12 or 10. 
single digit, it's okay. And then if the numbers are increasing, then you have to understand there is an error. So you have to correct it. If you place it exactly in the center, the number will get reduced. This is a residual correction that you have to make. So after doing this, you have to go to your reference. Click the second error mark. That is first one is add cost, the second one is Geo-referencing. After doing everything, you have to go there and then click this one. And then you can see Geo-referencing is carried out. See? You can see that it's over. Now you have to minimize or minimize or close this particular Geo-referencing. Now you have come to the main uh, work area that is a two disk panel there you have to open your geo reference map on the top you got layer click the layer go to add layer add raster layer click it and then your data source manager has come and then it's highlighted raster it will open only raster files Go to the browser at the right side, click it, and then we got modified TIFF. Click that map, bring it to the main work area canvas. So you have to add it and close it. See now your map has come. Now I am moving. The cursor, when I move the cursor, you can see at the bottom coordinate showing 76 degree and 16 minutes. See, wherever I take the cursor, it shows the coordinates. It also shows the scale. You can adjust the scale. Then it is 100% fit on scheme. Then, right side, we have got geographic coordinate system that is EPSG4326, that is a WGS84 uh, datum. That map has come. So now the map is geo reference. After geo referencing, you have to further proceed for digitizing and other processes. So this is how first you have to digitize a raster map in QGIS. Hope you have understood. It will be very interesting. If it is interesting, please practice it and share it with your friends and then click the subscription bell and then. Tell your friends to share it. Thank you.